there's actually some FAQs that, that really helped clarify uh, this regulation. Like a lot of regulations, when it came out, um, financial institutions really started getting wrapped up in this idea of privacy. And they were thinking, oh, I can't share any information because of privacy. And, uh, you know, and, and there was and, and keep in mind what we're talking about here. There are some exceptions out there so that you can do what's necessary to, to do your job as a bank. So, you know, you have to share non-public personal information in order to transact business on these accounts. So um, there were some helpful FAQs that came out and, and really let the industry know, no, there's certain things out there that, that this rule doesn't apply to. So look at letter A, check verification. So there was a, a lot of financial institutions when this rule came out that said, oh, you know, I get a telephone call and it's somebody who is looking to verify that funds are available for a, for a check that we've received. And but I can't give that information out because that would be acknowledging that this person has a relationship with my bank and that's non-public personal information. And so they, they said, oh, we can't do check verification. And this FAQ came out and said, no, you, you can you can still conduct business. You can still verify funds. Um, you do have to have some reasonable process where you make sure that that person on the phone is who they say they are and they have, you know, they have a need for that information. But once you've established that, then, then this falls neatly into one of those exceptions that are out there. Another one, letter B, loan payoffs. There were financial institutions when Reg P came out that said, oh, you know, if somebody's calling on the phone and they want to know how much this customer owes or what their loan payoff is, I can't let them know that. And the and and this FAQ really pointed out, no, no, that's you're you're kind of you're kind of throwing out the baby with the bathwater here. You can still share information in order to conduct your business and in order to transact and loan payoffs as long as you go through that process to just verify that the person on the phone or the person making that request, you know, you've made a reasonable due diligence to ensure that they are who they say they are. Uh, then you can go through and provide that information. Uh, letter C at the bottom, skip traces. That's another one. Maybe some, maybe um, you, you know, you're you're wary about sharing information uh, related to a skip trace or something along those lines. And this FAQ said no. Uh, if if somebody is trying to track somebody down so that they can make them pay their debt. Um, it's okay for you to share that type of information or the, to the extent that you may have a relationship with that individual. So um, if, you, if you're having confusion about where the line is when you can share and when, versus when you can't share, those FAQs are a lot of help. There's a, there's a link at the top of the page there that'll get you more information. So um, 